A matemática vem muito para além dos números e das equações. A matemática são ideias. A matemática é a ciência dos padrões. Ela acontece sempre que há um padrão, sempre que algo se repete. No seu cotidiano, nas ruas, no trânsito, são ideias que se materializam em todos os objetos que alguma vez observou e talvez nunca se tenha dado conta. A matemática é vida, a sua vida e a minha. Sou Rogério Martins e sou matemático. Well, as you all know, that's the opening from the show uh, This Is Mathematics, and I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by its host. Welcome. Thanks. It's my pleasure to be here. <laughs> Very nice to uh, see you. What a great program. Yeah, it, 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 it runs for 11 seasons, <laughs> 13 episodes each on, on the Portuguese television. I, yeah, it was broadcast in a new channel, so it's directed to really the general public. What gave you the idea? Like many things, it just starts by, I don't know, it, it, it was someone invited me and there was already some ideas to, to, to do something in television on mathematics. So we decided to, to bring the, the TV show to the, to the outside the studio, the studio because we, we want to convey this idea that mathematics is everywhere. People usually say that mathematics is everywhere. We will, we will show you where precisely it is. We, we did three episodes on on, on football. One of them is about how the players move in order to get the best angles to, to, to score and another one was about the measures of, of the pitch. There, there are lots of mathematics even in football. So what are you doing here this week? Yes, I will be having a, a, a talk. It's called Why Can't, you, can't, we, can't we See Behind Three Dimensions? So we have a kind of blockage when trying to imagine objects, mathematical objects with more than three dimensions, that lives in more than three dimensions. And of course, it has to do with the fact that we live in a three-dimensional space. But I want to, to, to build on that and try to explain how it will be possible, even living in the three-dimensional world, to see more than three dimensions. My final question is, everybody here talks about the importance of mathematics and the importance of reaching out to a wider community. Uh -huh. You're very successful at uh, reaching out. So, so what's your secret? How do you make mathematics accessible? I mean, people usually are, in, are interested in ideas. And then you just need to, to put these ideas, first relate these ideas to, to, the, to the audience, because of course people will be much more interested in that ideas if they feel that it's connected to, to them. So, and, and then to build a story, I don't know, to use humor, it's essentially to use all the, the communication techniques people usually use and use it to, 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 to communicate mathematics, yeah, it's essentially that. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the okay. time to talk to us today. We really appreciate it. Best of luck with the talk on Wednesday. Thank you very much. ICM TV is brought to you from the 2018 International Congress of Mathematicians in Brazil. So for more like this, click on some of these great videos and don't forget to subscribe for more from the best in science, from everything from mathematics to physics, geophysics and engineering.